Today is a tutorial for the crocodile stitch and a sneak peek at what we're going to make with it tomorrow. Let's go! Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks and today I'm going to show you the way that I do a crocodile stitch or the dragon scale stitch or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm going to have also have a sneak peek of what we're going to make with it tomorrow. So you can practice this today and we're going to make a project with it tomorrow. It'll be awesome. So let's get started. This is actually just gorgeous yarn. I love this yarn. But this is one whole skein of, I think it was unforgettable. Uh, this is a whole skein. So Crocodile Stitch is most definitely a yarn hog. Everyone will, will attest to that. I'm going to set this one aside and I'm going to get out some this is my Karen Simply Soft. Which one did I have today? Gold Ombre. Just a lot of different oranges and golds. It's really pretty. I haven't used it for a while. I haven't used it for much. So I thought it would be a good time for it to use it today. And now Karen Simply Soft suggests a 5mm hook, which is exactly right here, which is exactly what I'm going to use for this tutorial for the crocodile stitch. So just make a slip stitch any way you want. Everybody makes a slip stitch their way. And we are going to chain multiples of six plus two. So I will chain 20. Let's chain 20, two, three. Chain them a little bit loosely because we're going to work into the back bumps. 18, 19, and 20. All right, so now we've got our little chain of 20. This is a swatch, just as a practice. Turn it over and find all those little back bumps. And that's where we're gonna start working. We work one single crochet into each of those little back bumps. And since we just chained 20, you should have 19 single crochets. I'll meet you back down at the end. Remember one single crochet underneath each one of these little back bumps. All the way back down to the end. Here's my last stitch, right underneath that back bump with a single crochet. There we go. We have 19 single crochets. Next, we're going to make the post row for our crocodile stitch. So I'm going to chain three, which is going to count as our first double crochet. And in this very same spot, right here, the very, very first one right here, we want to do another double crochet. So there's two double crochets in that stitch. Right there. We're chain one, skip two, one run, and in this third one over, we're going to put two double crochets in there as well. So double. And number two, and a chain one. Skip two in the third one, two double crochets. Probably can figure out what we're gonna do next. <gasps> chain one, skip two, two double crochets in the same stitch. Chain one, skip two, two double crochets in the next stitch. Chain one, skip two, two double crochet in that third stitch over. And now our last one, chain one, skip two, and in the very last stitch we want to put two double crochets again. Very simple, our post row is done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should always end up with an odd number. When you use the multiples of six plus two, you will. So this is great. All right, now we get to start making the scales. So each one of these posts is done for this row. So our scales, we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. This counts as our first double crochet. We're going to go right in here in between those posts 
and around the very end right there and do a double crochet. Since this one counts, that's our second double crochet. So what we're going to do three, four, and five around that post. Five double crochets around that first post and a chain one. And now we're going to turn and get to this next post. So our working yarn is on the right hand side of where we're going to be going on to this next post right here and we want to do five double crochets around it as well. So you take hook and go between. Let's do five more. One, two, three, four, and five. There, you make your first scale. Isn't that cute? Now I want to chain one and skip this next set right here. There's this another set of two double crochets. We're going to skip right over that and jump over to the next one and do the five double crochets around this post again. Went sideways. There we go. One, two, three, four, and five all around that post. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work so that we can get to the next post. Right there. Double crochet five times around that post as well. There's three, four, and five. And there's our second chain for our second scale. chain one, skip this set of two double crochets and jump over to the next one. Five double crochets around the right hand post. Two, three, four, and five. And a chain one in between. We we'll turn our work again and we're back to this other post. Five double crochets around that post. One, two, three, four, and five. There's our third scale or our third crocodile scale or crocodile or I'm sorry, dragon scale, whatever you call it. They're both about the same. So now we're going to chain one, skip this set of double crochets and go to the last set right here, the very end, and do the same five double crochet around the right hand post. And a chain one, and then turn and go around this very end post right here with five more double crochet. So there's our first set of dragon scales. So cute. I just love this stitch. It is a yarn hog though, so be ready. If you're making something big, you're going to need a lot of skeins of yarn to get going. So the next thing you want to do is we have just finished all, of our, all five of our double crochets in that very last post. We're going to turn our work and we're going to slip stitch right through the middle of that scale. Close that up just a little bit. We're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and double crochet back into the center of that scale. So now we have another set of posts. Chain one. Now jump over here to this set of double crochets that you did not use, you did not work these, go through the middle of them and around this chain one. 
with a double crochet. So again, the exact same thing. I'm going to go through the V and around the chain one in between our scales from the previous row and double crochet. We're just setting up our next line of scales. Chain one, do the same thing in this open space in between. So you want to do two double crochet inside, right in the center of this scale. One and two. Chain one. And again, the same thing. I'm going to go right in the middle of this V with the double crochet. So go through the middle and around this single crochet from in between the two scales. So it holds them nicely in place. So there's our two double crochets. Chain one, do the same thing again through the center of this scale. Double crochet one and double crochet two chain one, do the same thing again in the unworked V right here. We want to go in here and all the way around with the double crochet and another one and a chain one and then we're at our last spot in the very center of our very last scale. One and two. Alrighty, so there is our next row of posts. So we can start our next row of scales. So on this one, we're going to work in the opposite or the center here of everything that we already worked. So this row that we're working on right now, we'll have three scales. One here, one here, and one here. And we'll just skip over these ones at the end. So what we're going to do is totally skip this one, ignore him and go to the next one, go around the right hand post with five double crochet. Three, four, and five. And then a chain one in between your sets of five double crochet spin your work so you can get to this other post right here and five double crochets around it. And number five. So you can see this scale. The scale is floating in between the other two. So they kind of go back and forth. Do, 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 do. So as we did before, there's a chain one in between our scales. I'm going to skip this set of double crochets, just completely skip them and go over to the next one. Double crochet five times around the right hand post. Two and five. And there's a chain one in between our sets of five double crochets. And we turn our work and go and grab this post right here. You kind of work in sideways five double crochets around that post. And five. Just as we did before, there's a chain one in between our scales. Skip this set of two double crochet posts. Go into the under the right hand side one of the next set with five double crochets around that post. And a chain one in between our sets of five. Spin and there's our post we want to be working on right here. Five double crochets around it. Four and five. Now that's the last one for that row because they're alternating. But we still have this little set down here of two double crochets posts. So we're just going to slip stitch right into that V. Easy peasy. We'll do one more row because we are now going to start just repeating what we did here and then here. So we repeat this set and then repeat that set and this set and that set. It's going to just keep going back and forth alternating. 
So again, we're going to chain three, one, two, three. That counts as our first double crochet post. And then do another one into this, that V. So we have two and a chain one in between. Two double crochet posts in the middle of the scale. One, two, and a chain one in between. Go in between, right in the center of this V, of the ones that were unworked from the last round, and around the single crochet that were in between the scales. One, and two, chain one in between, in the center of this scale, one, two double crochet posts, chain one in the middle of this V and around the single crochet that was in between the two scales, chain one in the middle of this scale, two double crochets and a chain one and we're back down to our end right here again. We're going to go in this one that was unworked, two double crochets in that V. So now we set up another row. Get our posts ready for the next row which will be identical to this. It's going to have four. So I'll show you one more time. So our very first stitch is chain three, which equals a double crochet, and then four more around this post. Since that one was our, our chain three counts as a stitch in this particular pattern. So the chain three plus four additional double crochets, a chain one in between our sets, and then spin and get to this post five double crochets around it. And five. Chain one in between our scales. Skip this set of double crochet posts. They will be unworked. Go to the next one in between those, those two double crochets. Go around the right hand post with five double crochets. And five. Chain one in between our sets of five. Spin our work and find the next post, which is right here. Five double crochets around it. You know, this stitch can look a little intimidating, but it really is very simple. It's very repetitive. And it looks kind of cool. It is bulky, so you probably don't want to use like a, a six weight, like a super bulky yarn, unless you really want a super warm blanket. <laughs> so I'd skip these two, jump over to this set, and around the right hand post, five double crochets. So that's chain one in between our scales. Skip this set, they will be unworked. Go over to this set of double crochet posts. Work five double crochets around the right hand post and a chain one in between our sets of five. Spin and there's our other post. Five double crochets around it and five and a chain one. And we're going to skip over this set. There will be unworked and there's we are at our last set, our last pair of double crochet posts. So five double crochet around the right hand post and five and a chain one in between our sets of five and we're going to work into this very very last thing way out here on the edge our last double crochet post. So five double crochets around it. And there's number five. And then to finish that off, you just do a slip stitch into the center so that it keeps its shape.
so easy peasy and it looks so cute I just love it we'll get started on this next row one more time we're gonna do our posts one more time so it's a chain three for the first post double crochet into the center of the scale chain one in between and we go in this V and around the single crochet with two posts chain one in the center of that scale two double crochet posts chain one in the center of this V that was unworked two double crochet chain one in the center of this scale two posts chain one in the center of this V and around the single crochet two posts sin chain one and there we are to our very last one again two double crochet in that last scale. Now we'll turn our work, skip this set on the edge or on the end, and jump right over to this one with the double crochet. Five of them on the right hand post and five. Chain one in between the scales skip this set of posts five double crochet around the right hand post and five and a chain one in between our sets of five find the other post there one two three four and five chain one in between our scales skip this set of two posts jump right here five double crochet around the right hand post four and five chain one in between our sets of five, spin our work, five around the other post, and five. And now to finish off this row we have an unworked set of two posts, just do a slip stitch. And there you go. It's really, really simple, very repetitive. After a few rows, it gets to be kind of a no-brainer. It really does. But you see, this one is will alternate back and forth, so do, 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 like that. I just think this is a great little stitch. If you have a lot of yarn, make something, make a great big blanket out of it. If you have a lot of the same yarn. It's easy enough to change colors if you wish. I always change colors at um, a post row so it doesn't really show when you change colors. Very simple. So there you go. There's my tutorial. So now you can practice. You can practice your crocodile stitch because you're going to need it tomorrow for my fingerless gloves which does have a crocodile stitch down the center. These are awesome. You're going to love them. And we'll have so much fun with that tomorrow. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure you stop back soon. We'll make these tomorrow and you never know what's going to come next. So thanks. Bye.